Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is, in a word, epic. It is the most authentic, the most immersive. It is the biggest single land expansion we've ever done in Disney Parks history, and it completely immerses you in the world of Star Wars. For as large as Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is, we did not lose sight of every single detail, every prop, every texture, every color, the flavors, the textures. All of it is intended to immerse you in the world of Star Wars. And to do that, we handcrafted the entire place. Every square inch of this is hand carved, hand painted, really brought to life by the hand of the artist to make it an authentic and immersive Star Wars experience. When our guests come to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, I hope they feel like they've walked straight into Black Spire Outpost on the planet Batu, a real Star Wars location filled with real Star Wars characters and real Star Wars adventures, and that they feel that invitation to not be just a spectator, but if they want to, to become an active participant in those stories and in those adventures, and to really live their own Star Wars story. One of the adventures I'm most excited about is Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. As you can see right behind me, we have the fastest ship in the galaxy. And for the first time, you and your flight crew are going to be able to take the controls of that flying hunk of junk and take it on an intergalactic joyride. When Disneyland first opened its doors, it gave our guests an opportunity to do something they'd never had before, to step into these worlds of fantasy and imagination. And Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is a, a, an extension of that same idea, that same vision that Walt had about giving guests an opportunity to believe that they were having these real experiences and to believe that they were becoming a part of their favorite worlds. I hope that if Walt were around today, he'd be proud of what we accomplished. Black Spire Outpost is a remote trading port on the edge of wild space. Back in the old sub light speed days, it was a necessary stopping off point for fuel and provisions. But now that hyperspace has kind of left it in the dust a little bit, it's become a haven for those who didn't want to be in the mainstream, the, the smugglers, the bounty hunters. Those folks looking to crew up for some adventure into wild space. Basically, it's all the interesting people. And it's a great stepping off point for new Star Wars stories, including our Star Wars story. If you leave the outpost and go through the forest, you're going to find the resistance. And this is where they're encamped, trying to rebuild, trying to recruit new, new recruits to join the cause and stand up against the First Order. And in the remains of some ancient ruins from some long forgotten civilization, that's where we step off on our second big anchor attraction experience, Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. It was almost five years ago that we started thinking about building a place where people could come and live out their Star Wars dreams and kind of fulfill that 40 years of dreaming. And when I look upon this today and I think about what the amazing accomplishment it is and all the partners that help bring it to life, whether our, our Imagineers or our partners at Lucasfilm and ILM or the other partners from literally all across the globe who contributed to bringing these dreams to life, it's truly an amazing and humbling experience. I love being able to see it when we bring someone into the land for the first time and see it fresh through their eyes. Sometimes they laugh, sometimes they cry but no one has come away feeling less than impressed by the accomplishments that this amazing team has made. So it is, I hope that our guests and our fans have that same reaction.